Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Borean International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront of receiving His Majesty King Abdullah II, Ibn Al Hussein of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Upon his arrival at Al Saqqir Airbase to visit the kingdom to discuss bilateral relations and the regional and international developments. Present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister. Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, senior officials and Jordan's ambassador to Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held official talks today with His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty welcomed the Jordanian monarch, highlighting the deep-rooted Bahraini-Jordanian relations that embody a long history of understanding and coordination. The two leaders expressed pride in bahraini jordanian relations and the development of bilateral work in all domains. His Majesty hailed the Jordanian honourable stances led by His Majesty King Abdullah II towards Bahrain. The Jordanian monarch affirmed his country's pride in the bilateral cooperation and brotherly relations with Bahrain. The two leaders discussed the latest regional and international developments as well as means of coordinating their stories they affirmed that the challenges that face the Middle East require further coordination and consolidation to maintain the region's security and stability as part of the international effort to combat terrorism and extremism. His Majesty the King and the Jordanian monarch affirmed the importance of Arab unity to protect common interests in the stance of face of foreign interventions. King Abdullah II affirmed Jordan's support to Bahrain in facing all threats of security and stability. He added that the safety of the Arabian Gulf countries is the main pillar for stability and security of the region. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation of the Jordanian monarch's efforts in supporting joint Arab action. 
A number of senior officials from Burien and Jordan attended the talks. The visit of His Majesty King Abdullah II Al Hussein of Jordan to Bahrain stresses the unity of the leaderships and the countries in the face of threats. It also reiterates Jordan's support to Bahrain and both countries' keen interest to build on existing strong relations. More in this report by Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. The Bahraini Jordanian relations are deep rooted historic ties that are reinforced by exchanging official visits and joint cooperation in the political, economic, and cultural fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa confirmed the strength of bilateral relations and praised the excellent brotherly relation binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. The two kingdoms are strategic partners in many military coalitions combating terrorism within regional and international alliances. This partnership is signified by the two countries' support to all international efforts to eliminate terrorism, which comes in line with joint defense cooperation based on the Treaty of Joint Defense and Economic Cooperation and in commitment to the international coalition against terrorism. The two countries always seek to build on economic cooperation by increasing commercial exchange and trade delegations visits through promoting the role of Bahrain Chamber for Commerce and Industry and counterparts in Jordan so as to expand benefit of the commercial and economic cooperation agreements signed between the governments of the two countries. In terms of cultural exchange, Bahrain and Jordan continue to enhance relations in this regard so as to make use of expertise in the two countries, which positively reflects the keen interest of both kingdoms to further expand collaboration in all fields to serve the best interest of both countries' people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today a number of royal family members and scores of citizens to greet His Royal Highness upon his return from the Kingdom of Thailand. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of our coordination and cooperation to face the region's challenges, primarily the threat of terrorism. Also noting the importance of unity and integration of Arab stances in international events concerning regional challenges and developments. The Prime Minister discussed with the attendees a number of local issues affirming the government's determination to proceed with development at a more accelerated pace and its rejection of any attempts to hinder its march or undermine its security and stability. He asserted that the advocates of violence and terrorism are not welcome in Bahraini society.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today the Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa at Gadevia Palace. His Royal Highness noticed the advanced level of the BDF in protecting the Kingdom's security and stability due to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister expressed pride in the efforts of the BDF and its affiliates in maintaining the security and sovereignty of and safety of Bahrain. For his part, the BDF Commander-in-Chief praised the efforts of his Premier and his leadership of the government, which contributed to the development of Bahrain, which made the Kingdom an example for other nations. He invited His Royal Highness to attend the wedding ceremony of his son, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister thanked the BDF Commander-in-Chief for the invitation, wishing Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa bin Ahmed a happy married life. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today the former President of South Korea, Lee Myun Bak, at Gadebia Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness affirmed the development of Bahraini Korean relations due to the desire of both countries to enhance cooperation to serve the interests of both countries, healing the economic development and success of Korea. His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's keenness to consolidate commercial, economic and investment cooperation with Korea, noting the importance of exchanging visits to strengthen relations. His Royal Highness praised Korea's keenness to bolster cooperation and commended the role of Korean companies working in different projects in the Kingdom. For his part, former President Lee expressed his pleasure to visit Bahrain and his country's aspiration for the visit of His Royal Highness, which will contribute to the development of cooperation between the two friendly countries to meet their aspirations and achieve their common interests.